So we have to solve this differential equation. So a good first step maybe is to try to separate this. So our goal in this problem perhaps is to have uh, some stuff with x's here and then dx <laughs> equal to, handwriting's really bad, stuff with y's here, dy. So stuff with x, dx equals stuff with y, dy. So you want to get all the x's on one side together with the dx and all of the y's on one side together with the dy. So maybe start by subtracting dx. So we will have e to the 6x dy equals negative dx. And we're almost there. I mean, we have a dx here, um, but we're missing some stuff with x's. This e to the 6x is over here. So what we can do is we can divide by e to the 6x in order to bring it over to the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and do that. So these cancel, so we get dy equals negative 1 over e to the 6x dx. So we've pretty much accomplished our goal. We have all of the y's on one side, in this case there's just a 1 here, and all of the x's on one side together with, with the dx. Now what we do is we simply integrate both sides. So I'll rewrite it over here. So we have dy equals, and in order to integrate this piece here, what you do is you bring up the e to the 6x. And when you do that, the exponent will become negative. So we are here. Beautiful stuff. And now we simply integrate. So integrating the left-hand side, when you integrate 1, you just get y. Now, when you integrate e to the negative 6x, you just divide by negative 6. Okay, so it'll be negative e to the negative 6x over negative 6, and then plus c. And I'll come back to this in a moment. And then you just simplify, so you would just get e to the negative 6x over 6 plus c, and that would be our final answer. So why can you just divide by it? Well, it turns out if you have the integral of e to the bx dx, you just get e to the bx over b plus c. This is, of course, assuming that b is not 0. And to show this, you would just let u equal to bx, and then so du would be equal to b dx, and then here's the key, you would divide by b, so you would get 1 over b du equals dx. So you would take this integral here, and you would rewrite it as 1 over b, integral of e to the u du. I think I did that kind of fast, hopefully I did it right, I did. So, so dx is 1 over b du, and then this is your u. And then you just integrate it, and you just get e to the u plus c, running out of room here, and then you just replace it with bx. So same thing here, you would let u equal negative 6x. So in, typically in differential equations, we don't, we don't do any of this. Uh, whenever you see something like this, you just divide by the number. So if you had, say, e to the 2x dx, right, you just divide by the 2. That's just, it's just faster. Now it's got to be a number, and it's got to be an x. If it's something else, then um, you, know, you can take a different approach. So the main idea in this video, again, was to just separate um, both pieces, you know, stuff with x, dx on one side, stuff with y, dy on the other side. That's it.